Hello and welcome to Ben's Works. On this week's episode, we're going to make something in honour of Dave Prowse. For those of you who are unfamiliar with Dave Prowse, he's a former bodybuilder and he's best known for playing Darth Vader in the original Star Wars trilogy. Sadly, he passed away last week at the age of 85. Prowse was cast as Vader for his imposing physique, even though the role was voiced by James L. Jones. So as a tribute to Dave, I'm going to cast Darth Vader in resin, so he's immortalised forever. And I'll be doing that with this little figurine, some epoxy resin, some Australian Melee Burl, and my casting container. Now let's get started. project I'll be stabilizing my burl. Now I'll be doing that with some cactus juice and I'm also going to add some dye. I thought it might be a nice touch if I did one blue and one red. I've already got blue made up which is left over from another project so all I'm going to do is mix up some red and then we'll get on to stabilizing. Most of you guys have probably seen my workshop incident video where my vac chamber imploded on me. If you haven't seen it already, I'll leave a link at the top of the screen here. You should go check it out, it was quite scary. And since then a lot of you guys suggested that my vac chamber should have a gauge on the side and a glass lid, so that's exactly what I did. I also replaced my vac pump. This is a 3CFM version, I got this one off Banggood. If you guys want to check it out, I'll leave a link in the description. Now that I've replaced all the air inside the timber with the stabilizing resin, all that's left to do now is to put it in the oven for about 3 hours and that'll cure it. While they're in the oven baking, I've been having a look at this Darth Vader and I'm a little worried about his lightsaber, it just seems real flimsy and I'm worried that when I go to cast it, it may warp it. So I've mixed up myself a little batch of resin and I'm going to paint it just on the lightsaber to help strengthen it up.
Now that we have our pieces ready, it's time to cast. The one last thing I have to do is glue Darth Vader onto the burl, and I'm just going to do that with some UV resin. Before we pull Vader out of the pot, I got some new stickers to put on. We got Wood by Wayne, ZZ Projects, and Manic Maker. Even though I used mold release, I reckon this is going to be a hard one to get out. Or not. That was pretty easy. Man, i got to remember it more often. Well, as you can see, i got some resin shrinkage. Now, i got two options here. I can put it on the lathe turn it down to match the diameter of the timber or I can just bring the timber down to match the height of the resin. Now I really didn't want to put this on the lathe because I wanted to keep the red around the outside and if we turn it down and I start touching the timber there's a good chance we're going to take a bit of it off. So I think what I need to do is go to the disc sander and we'll just bring this edge down. Now that I have the top and the bottom all sanded up, the next thing I'm going to do is work on the lighting system. I've got myself a little LED light, a twin cell battery holder and my batteries. Now I'm going to recess the battery holder in the bottom here, just so it sits nice and flush and looks really nice.
now that I have the LED light all wired in, there's only a couple of things left to do. One is to sand and polish, and the other one is to re-dye the top of the burl blue. Alright Star Wars fans, if you think this tribute is worthy, we need to share this video amongst our Star Wars family. So if you're a member of a Star Wars fan group or fan page, it'd be really awesome if you could share this with them. Now let's check it out. Our long-awaited meeting has come at last. 